Hello, I am Parvati Naya. Thank you for watching the video on Art History Plus, which so beautifully mixes together art pedagogy, art appreciation, and the artist's creative voice with a nice splash of fun. If you enjoyed this video, please do like, share, and subscribe to Art History Plus. Thank you. We come spinning out of nothingness, scattering stars like dust. That was Rumi, the 13th century Persian poet. How did he know? You've heard about the quote that each drop counts. Well here, each dot counts. Yeah, this image is hand drawn, dot by dot. The technique is called stippling. Through a course of 12 months, about a year, and with the use of pencils, many pencils actually, <laughs> you get this. Let's enter the meditative journey of artist Parvati Nair's iconic artwork, Nocturnes. This is a triptych, an artwork done in three panels, and it's done with a narration. It includes human nature, the earth, and the heavens. It reads from left to right. I'll explain, but watch the whole video to fully understand this artwork. The leftmost panel is themed around water. Look, again, each drop counts. That drop is made in its entirety and magnification here. See how it creates the ripples? It is that powerful. Ever sat back and thought about this beauty of nature? A single drop. Parvati told me that the single drop is the hero and is as important as the sea or any other water body. It contributes in creating. Its wetness is alive and full of force. It creates life. It is delicate and powerful. The ripples are like the manifestation of an idea spreading magnanimously. An idea is like a ripple, developing, isn't it? The ripples lead us to the nocturnal, the navigational instrument that focuses on the stars to estimate the time. This 16th century device is drawn here to draw our attention to the human nature of voyaging. We have through time devised ways to explore and navigate. And this urge for growth is symbolized in the magnified image of the pollen grain. Yeah, that's a pollen grain. In this graphite work, each stipple becomes the derivative of the pollen as she prints out her thoughts. It is a treaty of an artist following the karmic cycle of time and performing it through her work. The root from where the humankind has evolved and multiplied and diversified, we have proliferated to spread across. Pollen is fertility. Its tendency is to mate and spread endlessly and it makes the journey from Earth to Mars. The binary numbers are on the outer dial of the nocturnal and the numbers in the inner circumference are derivatives of pi and the innermost periphery has the hyper-intelligent derivative of the mandala. She's trying to tell us something. It's a little complicated, but you'll get it. The make of the pollen traces the Fibonacci sequence where the geometry of all elements in nature like plants, flowers or fruits have the presence of recurrent structure and form. The various arrangements of natural elements follow surprising mathematical regularities. We can easily find the numbers of the Fibonacci sequence in the spirals formed by individual flowers. Just look around. This is where science interlinks nature and art. Coming to the right panel, we see the image of Mars, the journey that human beings have made to reach the stars. We haven't reached there, but this image indicates our urge, our curiosity. We will get there someday. Poland is the depiction of the human spirit to make a voyage, to multiply, to grow. Do you see how Parvati started with the simplicity of the single drop of water on Earth, voyaging the ripple of the idea of humans to grow and reach Mars? We are part of nature. Hell, we are nature itself. And in our human time on Earth, we explore. The only thing guiding us is our own collective consciousness. 
and that's natural isn't it here parvati is talking about human nature from a larger perspective she is a part of it but at the same time distanced by the interpretations on earth the drop of water follows the law of gravity as it falls back in water but as one reaches mars it becomes abstract and surreal it is a journey from the known to the unknown represented in black and white referencing the unknown this was today's episode on science anthropology poetry and art please support us on patreon.com please subscribe to art history plus please share this video and also i'd like to hear what you think so please comment thank you